Been to a zoo lately? One of the first things you'd notice would be the cages. Singapore Zoo is known as one of the greatest zoos in the world and what sets this place apart is it's right in the middle of the city and there's not a cage in sight. Singapore Zoo is a 28 hectare home to more than three and a half thousand creatures great and small from all over the world. The African lion is second in size only to the Siberian tiger which is the largest cat in the world. From the king of the jungle to his court jesters there's something here for the whole family. All right Rama, can you get the hat back there? There you go. Hey! <laughs> Now she's gonna have to take very careful aim here. Let's see if she can do this. And yes, huh? No, yes. There it is, all right. And a couple gentle taps to make sure it's nice and in place. There we go. The zoo uses moats instead of bars, which makes you feel as though you could almost reach out and touch your furry friends. And in some cases, you can. Now, if there's only one thing you do here at Singapore Zoo, it's to come here and have breakfast with the orangutans. These are truly unique creatures. Just look at them. And look how close you can get to them. Hey. Hey. Look at your smile. <laughs> they are just... They are just magnificent. I want to take one home. <laughs> Breakfast with the orangutan starts at 8 a.m. every day and is the best way to see Armin Jr., who is the 35th orangutan to be born here since the zoo opened in 1973. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feeding times for the other animals are staggered so that you can follow the keepers around as they dish up the grub. Lucy Winnie has a dark coloration on her face compared to Juby. And sometimes you can even jump in and lend a hand. <laughs> oh my god! So cute. Who's gonna get it? Behind-the-scenes programs allow you to get to know some of the creepier crawlies on a first-name basis. This is a little stick insect, and he's uh, quite content crawling up my arm, and so's the millipede. <laughs> Say hello to the camera, Milky. <laughs> I love snakes. <laughs> this is beautiful. Hello. So what kind of experience can people get out of this? Well, a lot of people have never had the opportunity to touch or get up close to a reptile, so it's a really good chance to do that. See, so for a couple of extra bucks, you can get up close and personal with these guys. And look, look at little Milky, he's so cute. Now, if the heat's getting you down or you're feeling a little bit lazy like me, you can always jump on one of these. They leave every five minutes and pretty much take you anywhere you want to go. The trams are the easiest way to get around the zoo, especially if you've got kids. And if you do, you have to stop at Kids World. The water park and petting zoo should keep them busy and there's plenty of cafes for you to take a break. The whole zoo is, is amazing, I think. What do you think is so special about it? Oh, just, just the jungle atmosphere. I mean, it, it's almost as though you're you know, amongst them in their natural habitat, really. It's just brilliant. Singapore Airlines Holidays has a four-night package including accommodation, zoo entry and airport transfers for only $416 per person twin share. To get you there, Singapore Airlines also has great return fares starting at $751 from Perth, $752 from Melbourne, $767 from Adelaide and $769 from Sydney.